And on that particular night, the night that war was declared, I was sitting at home with my parents in the lounge room listening to the radio when the pronouncements were made, we are at war with Germany. I went off and joined. Uh, joined the army and uh, then I was immediately posted to uh, North Head Barracks while we did our rookie training. And from there we went to Middlehead to learn the skills that we were going to reply when we got here. We had no idea we were coming here. We were just a, 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 a group of young fellows that were put together to say, learn all this and then you're going to do something else. And all of a sudden we were dropped here and that's when the story began. After a meeting with Louis Mercer, who was then the secretary of the U Heavy Battery Association, he said to me casually, have you ever heard of West Head Fort? And I said, no. Uh, he said, it's at the end of Pitwater. It's part now of the Karingai National Park. We had two 4.7 inch guns there. I said, no, it's not even the it's not in the handbook of the Defence of Sydney. Trying to find information about the forts was really difficult and I went in on my own time to the State Library to try and research about the forts. We spent a whole day in there and ended up with one line of information in a fort book just saying there were forts at West Head and I thought well that's not very helpful for me. But there were no pictures, uh, there was no stories from it and that sort of set both me on a chase to find pictures and Bluey recounting what happened when they had to come here as 20, 20 year olds and develop a battery from scratch. Um, fortunately for me, Rowan came to me at the right time and said, I'm really keen on the forts. And I said, fantastic, because I've got a project that I need to do some works down there and um, we need to do a hazard reduction burn. So any way you can help me would be great. You can't call these, these concrete bunkers or batteries beautiful but they do relate back to why we have our freedom and we still have our country and that's what I want to share with people. The engineers have been in, they've put the gun platforms, the level bases in, they've put a, a tram track in between the guns, they've put a vertical railway that reminds me of the scenic railway at the Blue Mountains all to get the guns down. And Bluey's task was, as part of that group, was to bring the guns down from the, the battery area up the top at Cobbador Heights and to install them in the gun positions. And other people had the problem of setting up this area as the battery observation post. And above us would be the commanders for the searchlights. It was almost a state of, of unbelief if you like to, to because you know, I guess the day that we arrived here on the site we were invited to sort of walk around and look at things where, they had, where we had to work and it became very very obvious quickly that it was going to be hard work. It was going to be hard work, there were no two ways about that and we knew it because what we had was basic materials. 1941, there were no cranes, we didn't have six, six wheel mobile cranes with a 90 foot jib, we, everything we had to do was done by hand and a block and tackle. It was just plain ordinary hard work but enjoyable because we were all of the same mind. The, the young fellas, you know, we were 7, 8, 18 and full of vigour and vitality and uh, there was nothing that was going to stop us. We knew we had a task to do and because of the pressure, if you like, of, of the uh, proximity of the enemy, because just over there outside the horizon, mind you, there was a lot of warships, but they weren't ours and that was proven to be a problem. And one of the areas for increasing the fortification is West Head to stop an attack on the rail bridge, to stop raiding parties becoming, uh, an act, becoming active either through to Hornsby, up Coal and Candle Creek and across the plateau, or down Pipwater and through to Manly. To do that, they put two 4.7 inch ex-naval guns into this position. Across there, across that floor, was a metal platform that allowed you to walk to the gun. And as the gun rotated, the platform turned around. So anyone on the platform was facing wherever the gun was facing. This particular um, building here was totally covered by a um, fig tree and vine growing through it. You just, yeah, you couldn't see it from physically 20 feet away. 
We went down there and it was literally a jungle. You couldn't get in. We, I was walking past one of the entrances to the magazine five times. I knew it was there. I'm on my belly, I'm crawling around and finally, I'm like, here it is. So we went in and you'll see the difference between them and then and now is just, it's cleared. And one of the um, things that we were told is we had to clear it within five metres of the forts because we are gonna have fire in that area and we don't want to burn the concrete. Up until we found the walking track, it was coming down the original uh, tram line, which is oh, about a 50 degree slope, um, lowering yourself down with a rope. And yeah, that's how we brought everything down and back up every day that we were down here. Um, and we did not look forward to walking back up. The biggest reward would definitely have been working with the community because having Rowan, my staff members and everyone really keen to work on this project and getting Bluey here, it's all just come together and it's been so rewarding to be working with everybody. The highlight has been Bluey. The, the re rejuvenation of life that it's given to Bluey is just it's just something that uh, chokes me up. It's, um, you can see by his enthusiasm, it's transformed him uh, when he thought he was getting towards the end of his life. This has given him a boost of high octane fuel. And to take Bluey down there, that had to be the highlight of my association with West Head. But it was magic to come back and see these things. And it's, it's right there, now tangible. That's what it was 1941. It's the same. It's incredible.